Oh, hi there, kids. This is Shamma, and I've got my friends Prayer Bear and Bubby here along with me. Hey, guys, say hi. Hi. Now, Prayer Bear and Bubby, I want to tell you something. You both are my good friends. Oh, yeah. Let's give a friend hug. <laughs> yeah. And Prayer Bear and Bubby, do you know what good friends do to each other? Do you know? Well, I'm going to tell you. Good friends encourage each other. Do you know what that word encourage means, kids? Well, encourage kind of means to speak good words to each other. Words that lift you up and not put you down. And also, good friends help each other. Isn't that important, guys? Yeah, good friends should help each other and also speak good words to each other. And just like Prebe and Bubby here are good friends, did you know that Jesus can also be your friend? Huh? Some of you might say, Jesus, can he be our friend? Yes, for sure he can. In fact, Jesus is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Ooh, very close. And he can also stick closer than, can you guess what it is? Peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, he sticks very close. Yummy. I'm sure some of you like peanut butter out there. Well, in the Bible, it tells us right here in Proverbs 18.24, there is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. And this friend is Jesus. Now, Reading this verse kind of reminds me of a fun song. Do you want to hear that, Prayer Bear and Bubby? Okay, let's hear this song. There's a friend who will stick by you no matter what. He's always there to listen to you and help you. He understands and loves you even when you're grumpy or selfish. He's a true friend. His name is Jesus. From Proverbs 18 verse 24, there is a friend who is closer than a brother. There is a friend, a friend who sticks. A friend who stinks? No, a friend who sticks. Oh, you mean like glue or peanut butter? Well, something like that. There is a friend, a friend who sticks Closer than a brother There is a friend, a friend who sticks Closer than a brother And F-R-I-E-N-D Who sticks closer than a bee A friend. There is a friend, a friend, a friend who sticks, closer than a brother. F-R-I-E-N-D, who sticks closer than a B-R-O-T-H-E-R, closer than a brother. There is a friend, there is a friend, a friend who sticks, a friend who sticks, closer than a friend. There is a friend, a friend who sticks, friend who sticks closer, closer than a brother, closer than a brother. Oh yeah, that was a fun song. Now, Prebe and Bubby, did you catch what they were singing? They didn't say there is a friend who sticks. Stinks. No, 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 that's not what they said. The Bible verse, it says there is a friend who stinks, not stinks. Well, if he was a friend who stinks, you would want to be around him. But no, this song and this Bible verse, it's telling us 
that Jesus is our friend who sticks closer than a brother. And kids, that's what we're learning about today. We're learning about Jesus as our friend. Yes, kids, Jesus is a friend who's never gonna leave you. That's for sure. Now, you know, in life, sometimes, you know, not everybody, but some people, they'll be your friend for some time. And then after that, they don't even talk to you again. But Jesus is not a friend like that. In fact, he's given you a promise that he's going to be with you. You want to check that promise out? Let's check it out. And when Jesus gives a promise, he's always going to keep it. It's right here in the Bible, in the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verse 5. Now, we're learning about Jesus as our friend. And as a friend, this is what he's saying to you. In the last part of Hebrews 13, 5, Jesus says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Wow, that's a very powerful promise. Let's read it again. Jesus said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Which also means he's not going to leave you behind and tell you to be by yourself. No, he won't. Now, here's another promise that Jesus, our friend, gave us. It's right here in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. Another promise. He said in the last part, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Wow, the end of the world, that's a long time, which also means forever. Jesus will be with you. And we just learned three awesome things about Jesus. Number one, he is a friend who sticks closer than a brother. Number two, he will never leave us. Number three, he will be with us even to the end of the world, which means forever. Wow, that's an awesome promise that we have. Now, some of you kids, maybe you're thinking, well, I never thought of Jesus as a friend. I thought he's like someone we worship at church or maybe when we see him like on a frame. Now, kids, that's not how we ought to see Jesus. He wants to be a friend to you and a part of your life every day. He wants to talk to you and lift you up and show you things that you need to know, right? That's who he is. You see, when Jesus talks to you as a friend, he's never going to speak words that will put you down and make you feel sad. Our oh, prayer bear and Bubby, you know, there are some kids, you know, they can speak words like, you're ugly, or you can do nothing, or we're going to be angry with you and never get friendly. Boy, now, prayer bear and Bubby, are those words that encourage us or lift us up? Uh-uh. And Jesus will never talk words like that to you. That's why, kids, you can't listen to what everybody else tells you. If they're speaking words to put you down, don't believe those words. In fact, you got to say, no, in Jesus' name, I will not receive those words into my heart. And then you must say, I'm only going to believe what Jesus tells me because he's always going to lift me up. And you know, in the Bible, it tells us about a story about a lady. Now, I know kids, you like stories. And in this story that we're going to hear, it's about a lady who was very lonely and very sad. But one day she met a special friend. And this friend changed her life forever and she was never the same. Want to hear that story? All right, let's hear it. This story comes from the book of John chapter 4. One day, Jesus and his disciples went to a place called Samaria. And it was a very long journey to Samaria. So now Jesus wanted to take some rest and sit down. So he came to Samaria and found a well, a place where he could sit. 
And his disciples, they said, uh, well, we're going to go buy some food. So they went to buy some food while Jesus sat near the well. Now, along came a lady with her bucket to draw water from the well. And it was very, very hot at this time. But she needed water, so she came and she decided to draw water with her bucket. And Jesus looked at her and asked her, May I have some water to drink? And the lady said, You're asking me for water? You're a Jew. I'm a Samaritan. We're different. We have nothing to do with each other. Oh dear kids, now is this lady being very nice? Huh, prayer bear? No, she's not very, being very nice, is she, Betsy? No, she's being very rude. And she doesn't know that this is Jesus. Okay, she doesn't know. And so, what did Jesus tell her? Was he rude to her as well? Well, no, he wasn't. Well, Jesus told the lady, he said, Lady, if you knew who I was, you would be asking me for a drink of water and I would have given you eternal living water. And the lady said, living water? What's that? Sir, you don't even have a bucket to draw your water. And how can you say that you can give me living water? And Jesus said, lady, Whoever drinks from this water will get thirsty again. But whoever drinks the water that I give will never thirst again. The water that I give will overflow into eternal life. Huh? The lady said, You mean, uh, can I, you think I can have this kind of water? Wow, that would be great. Then I don't have to come to this well all the time and fetch water. Give me this living water, please. And Jesus said, go and call your husband. The lady said, I don't have a husband. Jesus said, you're right, lady, but you have had five husbands and the one who is with you now is not your husband. <gasps> The lady said, how do you know about me? You know about me. I think you're a prophet. But you all are Jews. We are Samaritans. And we worship God on this mountain. And you all worship in Jerusalem. Oh dear kids, this lady is confused. She thinks that she needs to be in a mountain to worship God. Do you have to be in a mountain to worship God? Huh? No, you don't. You don't have to be in a mountain. You can even be in the shower and worship God and he will hear you. Right? But this lady thinks she's got to be in a mountain. So Jesus looked at her and said, Lady, you don't have to be in a mountain, this mountain or that mountain to worship God. God is a spirit. And those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And the lady said, wow, that's amazing. But I know that the Christ, the Messiah, when he comes, he will tell us all things. And Jesus looked at her and said, I am the one who is talking to you. <gasps> You're the Christ, the Messiah, the one we've been waiting for. Oh! And she was so happy and excited because now she's not empty anymore. Jesus has come and given her the gift of eternal life. And now she's ready to go and tell others as well. And the disciples, they come in after buying food and they wonder, what's Jesus doing here with, and who is that lady? Well, the lady is thrilled. So she doesn't even get her water. She leaves her water bucket, runs into the city and goes and tells everybody, Hey, come and see a man that told me everything about me. This is the Christ, the Messiah, the one we've been waiting for. 
And they say, huh, really? And the people come and they come running to see Jesus. And they're so happy to hear him that Jesus had to stay two more days because they were so happy that they met Jesus. Wow, Jesus really was a true friend to the Samaritan lady. She was very lonely and sad at first. But then when Jesus came into her life, she was completely changed. She had joy and she had love and peace. And kids, Jesus can do the same for you. He can be your friend forever. Remember those promises we learned? The promises he gave us? What did he say? I will never leave you nor forsake you. I will be with you even to the end of the world, which means forever. Would you like to have him as your friend? You can pray this prayer with me and Jesus will come and live inside of you. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins. Jesus, I'm sorry for the bad things that I have done. Please forgive me. I believe that you are my Lord and Savior who rose again from the dead. From this day onwards, I will follow after you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, kids, praise God. Now that you have Jesus, you've got a friend with you who, what? What prayer, Baron Bobby? He's a friend who? He sticks closer than a brother. That's the friend Jesus can be to you. And now let's sing a song all about Jesus, our friend, and Jesus, the way, the truth, and the life. One, two, three, four. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and is my friend